crucible care. Graphite particles having the natural property of oxidation will lose its life slowly and following the guidelines will extend the lifespan of the crucibles. Place a new melting crucible in the place of designated. Switch on the chilling unit. Switch on the induction unit. Observe the increase in temperature control. Switch on the mains on the induction melting furnace. Set the temperature to 300 degrees. Before inserting the crucible, the underlay should be lined with insulation firmer and the temperature sensor should touch the bottom hole of the crucible. Should check the wear and tear condition of the insulation firmer before inserting the crucible. Before use a slow preheating at 300 degrees in low ampere. It helps to remove moisture and cracking ceramic jacket due to sudden heat. And you can increase ampere setting to maximum. Fan and any other cooling equipment should be avoided in the melting room. Sprinkle a spoonful of melting flux on the outer surface of the crucible at 600 degrees for increasing graphite life. This procedure can be followed for using new crucible for the first time. Now the crucible is ready for melting and the lifespan is elongated. Start putting the metal to be melted in the crucible carefully using a tongue to avoid breakage. When the heating process starts, cover the crucible with ceramic lid to boost up melting procedure. Preheat the molding ingot to protect the metal from thermal shock. Coat the inner of the mold with oil. When the melting is completed, switch off the induction heating and raise the lift handle to remove the crucible with help of tong and pour the molten metal in molding ingot. Now your machine is ready for next cycle of melting. If the melting procedure is over, you should let on both the units until the temperature in the induction unit reaches 150 degrees. Turn off the mains of the induction furnace and chilling unit. A single crucible can be used for 40 to 45 melting normal life of a crucible. Replace the crucible when the outer collar or the inner wall of the crucible becomes thinner or there is puncture at the bottom of the crucible or else there is danger of spilling the molten metal inside the machine and damage the internal parts. If the melting procedure is completed, it has to be stored in a closed box to cool down slowly which even reduces the oxidation process and increase lifespan of the crucibles. <laughs>